the one gallon starter kit. That's what I'm talking about. That is one long scoop. Oh, watch this, watch this. And we are just about at the level we wanted at. What's going on, Carlos? You know where we are. The good old Walmart, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All jokes aside, what is going on, Carlos? Welcome back to another video here. Thanks to Nick for ensuring the vlog here. Um, we're actually in the fish section of Walmart, like normal, doing one of those cool aquarium videos. As you know, we do a bunch of these, and they usually do fairly well. Like this one, this one, this one, this one. You can see the views on them. People, people, oh, people love them. So today, what we're doing is the one gallon starter kit. No idea, I just ran into this at Walmart and I said, hey, we got rocks in here, we got water conditioner, we got some what looks to be like flakes back there, and then we're gonna get a few more gadgets, of course, which are over here. Now this aquarium right here is the main part of this video, but I do wanna mention that we just arrived probably about an hour ago from the airport coming back from Chicago. I had a blast with the team Aquascape there, especially Greg Whitstock, the pond guy. Shout out to you for uh, letting me tag along on all these journeys. Met so many great people on that trip. Aquascape released a whole nother thing of new products. They un uh, like revealed all of it at the at the announcement there. And uh, we had a bunch, we did a bunch of fun. There was a ton of stuff. We actually went on a pond tour as well, saw a bunch of ponds and a giant bus full of Aquascape people. Look at this kid. Do you notice every time, if you have watched my channel for a while, you've seen me do kind of videos like this, and every time we do a video on Walmart like this, we always got jokes, something's happening. Last time someone like screamed in the background, I don't even know. If you're new here, I am Paul Caffaro. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so already, I highly suggest hitting the subscribe button and then turning your post notifications on so you don't miss every time we do upload, which is typically every other day. Oh my gosh, see, it even has like a little net inside there. You can see it right there. So I'm sure there's gonna be some extra goodies that we can't see from the outside that are inside of this. We're gonna get that. Comes with rocks, don't need those. Uh, I believe it comes with like a, a plant. Now I remember last time I got this little guy right here. But I think this time I'm gonna switch it out. I think I'm gonna do something like this one right here. And we always do these cool little things. So I'm gonna get both of them, I think. Feed me. And I believe that is that. That's pretty much it. We're gonna get two little fish decors right here. Our tank that comes with, of course, it is a starter kit, so it comes with a lot. Now one more thing just before I hop into that. I mentioned it last video as well about albino red ear sliders. I saw one at Aqualand, I couldn't get over how cool that turtle actually looked. And I asked you all to like the video last time. It got a decent amount of likes, but I think on a video that might do a bit better, it can get some more likes. So if you do think we should get some albino red ear sliders for the backyard, they look like this. They're absolutely amazing. Like they would spice up the backyard a hundred times better. If you think we should get them, hit the like button for me. If we hit, 20, <laughs> 15,000 likes, we could do that, we got that. 15,000 likes, I'll call Cannon, call him right up and say, hey, I'm buying two, I think they're like $400 turtles a piece, and we'll do it, I will do it. All you gotta do is hit that like button. Dude, it's gonna be stupid using this. See how small that mesh is right there? Compared to what we use now, it's an incredible difference. And look how deep the mesh is. You see how deep this mesh is? We are gonna destroy the minnows. Just wait until we net minnows with this thing. It is gonna be insane. Here's our bucket, it's fairly dark out here. And of course, what we just bought right here. Dude, this is gonna be crazy. Wait until you see how many fish we catch in this. By the way, it's currently 1.45 a.m. right now, so it's pretty darn late out here. But this is how we catch our minnows, whether we put them in the live bait tank, which we'll put some of these in there, a lot in there, and, uh, and or we put them into the tank to feed our fish. This is where we do it, this is where we get them all. Straight along the bank. I know I'm hopping right into it, but see how big that mesh is? How, how much deeper it goes? Oh my gosh, just wait. All these fish sit up into these little pockets of rock right here, and then look. Boom, just like that. That is one scoop along the bank. At night, they all rise up to the sides. Now during the day, it's a completely different story, but at night, they come right up to the bank in order not to get eaten by fish that are out in the middle of this lake. Oh! My Let me see. gosh. Let me see. That's what I'm talking about. That is one long scoop, and we also have shrimp in there. Look at how many minnows we just caught. Boom. Holy moly. Keep going, keep going, just keep going. Just keep going, just keep going. Just keep going, Paul, you got it. Look at that scoop right there. I want that. Look at you. 
She is sleeping. It's currently four in the morning now. I'm still awake. Just picked up the camera back home now. This video is pretty much all over the place, but um, got the Monster Fish Bash meetup tomorrow. By the way, Chicago's meetup was a blast. To all those who did show up, there was a lot of people that showed up. Shout out to y'all. Y'all were awesome. I hope you enjoyed Aqualand. It's a great place to be. Back home now with the piglet. Look at some of the fans gave me at Aqualand. I actually just put all the minnows inside the live well. Holy moly, so many. And we are now back inside. Check out how clear this tank is right now. Much more clear than usual, which is a good sign. There's George and Georgia chilling right there. And of course, the 160. We gotta get the lights off for this one. Look at the size of our Tiger Shovel nose. It is incredible. Look at the length compared to the tank now. There's a hybrid down there, and of course, our red tail, which is Hiding with the whiskers down there. You can see it kind of from this view right there. Just noticing now our arowana got much bigger as well. Everything's growing in the 160. That goes for everything pretty much. Everything's doing well. And we've got everything we need. Let's get this sucker unboxed. All right, first things first. The bag that comes inside of it has everything inside. Okay, so this actually comes with literally everything you need. Hence the name starter kit, meaning it probably has everything you need for a, a fish tank. Yeah, there it is right there. Even some flakes, which you already know, we use aquascape flakes around here, so no need for those. And then some water conditioner. Pop the bag open. And inside this bag looks like we have a net that is folded up. A really good net too. Perfect size for any baited transfers or taking minnows out of the live well and feeding them to fish. This is a good sized net right here. Our plant, which is gonna go right in the center of this, and of course we have our little decors here. Without further ado, I'm just gonna pour these in, get this, put some water, put these in, and then we'll put some minnows in. That's gonna be the real fun part. Everything is now in our little one gallon starter aquarium. For those of you who don't know, they make this little tiny ledge that you can put the rocks in there to make this plant stay down when the water's in. So shimmy that in there, cover it up with some rock. And of course, our last two little things to put in is our fish. I might have to keep these in like another tank after I'm done with this video, because every time I make these videos, of course, these tanks do not stay with fish in them. First little guy goes in, right yonder. And the second guy goes in, right yonder. So there's our aquarium. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. And we are just about at the level we wanted at. Now it comes with this little pack of uh, what looks to be like AquaSafe, meaning water conditioner, dechlorinator. Little scissor spot right here. Don't need much of this at all. Plenty. Now that that's done, let's get our little net and head outside. Holy moly, look how many minnows we got going on here. Tons and tons and tons of them. We're just gonna get a little handful here. We're also gonna feed the fish in the tank in just a few after this, but um, one little scoop here. That's plenty, let's go. And after just a bit of letting them sit, uh, there you go. We got our minnows chilling in our little tank. Now I do these videos on my channel as a series. I've done multiple of them, just making these cool little cheap fun tanks that are real easy and quick to build. And then I throw like feeder fish in them, or in this case, mosquito fish. These fish will be unharmed and you'll see actually me putting them back into that live well in just a little bit. Just to give you this perspective though, I do need to put fish so that you can see stuff like this on video. Well there you go, one last look with our little guys in there our minnows, and uh, we're gonna get them back into this net and back into where they were beforehand. Although that may have been pointless because eventually all these are fed to the 160 gallon for my peacock and everything else to grow. Cycle of life, you know? The peacock doesn't like to eat tilapia, so I have to find a plan B, and that plan B is to catch wild minnows. This right here is the only thing my peacock bass will eat, so that's what I resort to. Watch this. Boom, see them crushing them? Check that out. Everything's gonna grow, you know? Even the Arowana and the Gar and the Oscars, everything eats, everything gets, oh watch this, watch this. Boom! Right in front of the camera. We got some big ones going in now. 
Oh, 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 it's going crazy. Oh, the Oscar. Arowana, watch the Arowana. Oh, she got it. So sick. Well, now that I'm back home, I might as well show you all what's going on back here. Still have had absolutely zero time to weed, so there's a few pieces of grass. Look at all these little toads jumping around. What's up, guys? Got our alligator gar, our bigger one that's right here. There's Thump, our big largemouth bass. Actually wearing the PC Thump shirt right now. I don't know if you saw that. It was probably upside down if you did, but you can check that out. Top link in the description, all PC merch. And then over here, I know it's actually, it's not over. There's still more water. Is our Paku pond, so we have four Paku. Two are big, two are kind of big, and then you got a red tail that's probably under all this right here, and an albino pleco. Did I not tell you though? Look at the side of this. It's already, everything's gone. Pleco did the job. Absolutely insane how much that thing makes a difference. And our Paku are also like white now, that they've been in a white surrounding. They kind of adjust to their surrounding. So you can see right there, they're much lighter than they were when they were in the big pond. But without further ado, the backyard is doing well. I just gotta go weeding back there. It's, it's getting out of hand. And for today's positive comment, shout out going to Marcelo. Great video, Paul. Shout out to Marcelo. 